Let us now look at our next example. Example 13, the question says if sin theta plus sin square theta equals to 1, then find the value of the given expression here, which is cos power 12 theta plus 3 cos power 10 theta plus 3 cos power 8 theta plus cos power 6 theta minus 1. So, I'll end the expression here and what is given is sin theta plus sin square theta equals to 1. The point to be noted here is that we cannot try with some random value of theta like we have done in the earlier two examples because what we have on the right hand side is equal to 1. So trying to get that exact value of theta which gives us 1 may be difficult and we may end up wasting a lot of time. So trying with random theta values is ruled out. What can be done? Now if you observe this is like a quadratic equation sin theta plus sin square theta equals to 1. So we can you know take sin theta as x. So this becomes x plus x square equal to 1. So we may be able to get the value of x which is sin theta by solving that quadratic equation and then we can go ahead and try to substitute cos theta right. Accordingly we will find out cos theta and substitute here to get the required answer. But instead of doing all that let's look at the equation here sin theta plus sin square theta equals to 1. Now from this we can say that sin theta equals to 1 minus sin square theta or this further shows that 1 minus sin square theta is nothing but cos square theta right 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta. So cos square theta is equal to sin theta. Now if you have got this idea then answering the question becomes really very easy right. We know that cos square theta equals to sin theta from the given equation that is sin theta plus sin square theta equals to 1. That's it. Now that we know what is cos square theta if you look at the expression here each term is in terms of cos square theta right it is some power of cos square theta. So let's substitute sin theta in that place and see if we uh, get the required answer right. So cos power 12 theta cos power 12 theta can be taken as cos square theta power 6 right plus 3 into uh, cos power 10 theta can be taken as cos square theta power 5 plus 3 into cos square theta power 4 plus cos square theta whole cube minus 1. And let us substitute cos square theta as sin theta in all these terms and see what is the simplification. So we get sin power 6 theta plus 3 sin power 5 theta plus 3 sin power 4 theta plus sin cube theta minus 1. Now if you observe the first four terms here, these are in the form of a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. Yes or no? If you look at it, a cube, let's say sin square theta whole cube, b cube is sin theta whole cube, right? So sin square theta plus sin theta whole cube. What happens if you take sin square theta plus sin theta whole cube? We get sin power 6 theta, that is a cube, plus 3a square b. So 3 into sin square whole square, sin power 4 into sin theta gives us sin power 5. And then this is 3ab square. So a is sin square theta. So 3 into sin square theta into b square. b square is sin theta square sin square theta. So 3 into sin square theta into sin square theta which is sin power 4 theta and finally b cube which is sin theta whole cube. So the complete expression here can now be reduced as sin square theta plus sin theta whole cube minus 1. We know that sin square theta plus sin theta is equal to 1 from the given question. So this becomes 1 cube minus 1 which is equal to 0. So the answer for this question would be option A 0. Alright. So it's all about you know the observation here. If you can understand that this is in the form of sin square theta plus sin theta whole cube, you will get the answer directly here. In fact, this equation itself, this expression itself can be expressed as uh, you know some a plus b whole cube form. For example, see if you take this this is a cube and this is b cube a would be cos power 4 theta right 4 into 3 will give us 12 and this b would be cos square theta so we can say this is actually cos power 4 theta plus cos square theta whole cube minus 1 so cos power 12 theta plus 3a square b will give you 3 cos power 10 theta 3ab square will give 3 cos power 8 theta and b cube will give us cos power 6 theta again from the given equation we know that uh, cos square theta equals to sin theta so if you substitute this in the above equation what do we get this cos square theta becomes sin theta and this becomes sin square theta 
right? Cos square theta is sin theta. So cos power 4 theta will be sin square theta. So what do we get? Sin square theta plus sin theta whole cube. Sin square theta plus sin theta is 1. 1 cube minus 1 is equal to 0. So either ways we see that the question is reduced in the form of a plus b the whole cube, right? You can either take this itself in the form of cos power 4 theta plus cos square theta whole cube or convert this cos terms into sine and then take sine square theta plus sine theta whole cube. However, the final answer remains same that is 0.